want to go back and look at an image that we have of stage three cancer. Can you walk us through what happens at this stage and what happens afterwards? So your stage one tumors would be really a tumor that is primarily maintained in the breast. As the tumor continues to grow, they can get onto this I call it the on-ramp, these green pathways that then go up into the lymph nodes of the axilla. This is your larger tumor, but you can see that there are actually tumor cells moving up into the lymph nodes of the axilla. This is an advanced stage cancer, a stage three tumor, that will allow it and increase its risk to spread beyond that and around the body. Now, how does the cancer spread? I feel like this is a question probably many patients have or families have, and what factors influence how quickly that tumor grows and what stage it becomes? So tumor cells are all different. They can respond differently, they can be fed differently, so it allows them to grow a little bit more aggressively. Mm -hmm. I like to consider the lymph nodes or the lymphatic vessels moving from the breast into the lymph nodes. This I call the on-ramp. If tumor cells get onto here, then they go into the lymph nodes of the axilla. Okay. The lymph nodes of the axilla are kind of your toll booth, and they really will do a good job of taking on those tumor cells and preventing them from hitting the interstate and spreading. However, once they get past the lymph nodes, there is an increased risk that they would spread systemically and turn into stage four disease. And how quickly does it spread though? I feel like sometimes you hear a cancer may spread a little quicker or someone's cancer is rapidly progressing and how, how, how does it happen? So it's highly variable. Um, tumor cells, it depends on really what the biology of that specific tumor cell is. There are some that are very slow growing that mm -hmm. women can have a tumor in their breast for two years and it will not even spread to the lymph nodes. However, there are some women who will have a normal mammogram and within the next year they already have lymph node involvement. Wow. It really goes down to the biologic basis of that tumor cell growth and how it is fed.